Hey, what's up guys? Andy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Z170 Pro motherboard. Okay, so I've been playing with the Z170 Pro for quite a while in my personal rig. Um, I've had it for... I want to say a couple months now, and I'm kind of loving it. It uses the Z170 chipset, um, hence Z170. Um, it's a Z-series motherboard, so it is overclockable. Um, it supports overclocking, supports XMP, supports all sorts of things, really. Um, but anyway, the main important part about this is not only does it support DDR4 RAM up to um, its doesn't support ECC memory, uh, it has to be non ECC unbuffered memory, but it supports RAM uh, anywhere from 2133 MHz to 3866 MHz DDR4, um, and it supports up to 64 gigabytes of this memory. Um, it also has Intel's sixth generation Intel chipset series Skylake processors, uh, supports i7, i5, i3, Pentium, and Celeron processors. Uh, through the Skylake family, so um, that's pretty cool with the LGA 1151 socket type. Um, if you look at the um, onboard kind of headers and everything, um, there are two 3.0 PCI X16 slots um, capable of running at X16 for a single one or um, in dual mode both at X8. Um, there is also a third X16 slot, but it's capped at X4 um, memory speeds and bus capable of um, working with X4, X2, and X1 card types. Um, however, that third one is shared with the uh, SATA bus as well, um, so it's not its own dedicated PCI lane like the first two are. Uh, the motherboard itself does support both Crossfire and SLI. Um, I believe in the spec it says something about up to two-way SLI and three-way crossfire. Um, so that's pretty cool. It also has four PCIe X1 2.0 slots. Um, so basically anything that's not a video card will fit in those. Uh, if you head around to the back panel, um, there are two USB 2.0 ports on the back panel with four on board in the form of headers. There's also the same situation for 3.0 ports, two on the back panel, four and on board with headers. On the back panel, there's also one 3.1 Type A connector, a standard USB connector, but there is also the new 3.1 Type C port on the back. The motherboard itself is capable of working with ASUS's uh, USB 3.1 Boost, as they call it, with the 3 amp power output on the 3.1 ports. Uh, it has Ethernet as well, Gigabit Ethernet. Um, but it only has one. I know some motherboards have two. This one only has one. Um, again, going back on the inside, um, it does have one, I believe, SATA Express port, but it also has six SATA 3 ports. Yes, six ports, and every single one of them runs at six gigabits per second. Uh, two of those, however, are shared with the SATA Express bus. So if you're using SATA Express, it uses the SATA bus as well. It's got its own dedicated lane. Um, it does also support M.2 devices. Um, they, it supports M keyed M.2 devices anywhere from type 2242 to type 22110. Uh, so that's quite a range of different lengths of PCI devices. Again, those are shared with the SATA Express bus as well. Um, the Z170 Pro is capable of running three monitors at a time. It has one HDMI 1.4B port and one DisplayPort 1.2 port. Both of those are capable of a max resolution of 4096 by 2160 running at 24 hertz or 3840 by 2160 running at 60 hertz. Additionally, uh, in a, addition to both of those, it has one DVI-D port with a max resolution of 1920 by 1200 running at 60 hertz. Uh, all in all, as far as the motherboard goes, I've used a lot of the features, love the motherboard, love everything I can do with it. Um, my current setup is running with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz uh, with an Intel i7-6700K in it. 
uh, base clocked at 4 gigahertz. Those are both overclocked. The processor is uh, now clocked at an overclock of 4.6 gigahertz, and the memory is clocked at 3400. Uh, both of those are running perfectly stable. Um, I'm not running into any real issues. In fact, I actually have enough RAM left over to use. I believe I'm using six gigabytes of it as a RAM disk, just for as a nice kind of scratch pad to kind of do some video editing or whatever work on. Uh, and it's running great. I've only had one issue so far in the past two months, and that's because lately with Adobe After Effects, it basically eats memory like it's popcorn. And when I'm fully rendering something, if I'm pre-rendering the entire thing to play back a composition as I'm editing it, um, according to Task Manager, it can use in excess of 21 gigabytes of that RAM. So uh, I thought Firefox was pretty power hungry with my somewhere in the ballpark of 80 tabs that I have open on a good day. Uh, that actually only uses about 3 gigs of RAM. So, yeah, After Effects is a bit power-hungry, but that's just After Effects. That's nothing specific to any of the hardware on the motherboard or with the RAM or anything. All in all, love the board. No issues with it. Love Asus as a company. Um, I'm a big fan of Asus and their products as well. Their technical support is excellent. I've never had an issue um, calling and doing anything with them. In fact, one of my other laptops is an Asus laptop that I use as a daily driver when I'm on the go. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say left about this board. Um, but yeah, if you're looking on uh, trying some of the stuff like that with the new Skylake or anything, uh, it's not necessarily cheap. But as far as their Z170 line goes, the Pro is kind of a good mid-range board. Um, there are more expensive boards out there in that line, um, but there are also a little bit more cheaper boards. I believe I picked it up for... I think it was like uh, $139.99 or something through, I think, Newegg. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not overly cheap, but it's not expensive either. So uh, if you're looking to try some of that stuff out, uh, give it a shot. Great motherboard, great company. Uh, that's about all I have to say for it. So anyway, uh, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. You know where that is. Uh, if your feelings are a little bit more complicated than that, you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment down below. Um, if you really like our videos um, and you want to keep notified and keep watch of new videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button down in the description there. Um, and additionally, um, if you really want to support our channel, consider changing your Amazon bookmark to our affiliate link down in the description. Um, that helps us a lot. We get a small kickback from it. Or consider also donating on Patreon. The link for that is also in the description. Um, that helps us a lot. It helps kind of bring in new revenue for us, and it helps fund costs for new videos. It helps us push out new videos, and uh, it really helps us in general. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.